Mm. That's okay, right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the blood sacrifice. And then mm. the Essenes were the ones mm. who kept themselves away and they were pure. They did not eat meat. They did not, you know, they, they were, they lived the vegetarian lifestyle, it's all about the vibration of the people, and being holy. And they were known as the healers and the ones that people took their children to because they were. So what was happening was you had the Jews who hated the Essenes and the Jews were expecting their Messiah, but what they were expecting was a warrior killer like them mm. who would deliver them from Rome. When instead, because of it's all about purity and that vibrational, as we know, housing the Spirit of God, Iya from there, who's come down through this way, or you know, come down them like that, if you like, to get into the creation, which all comes from him. So as Yahshua, he did refer to his God and to God, which was Iya, but it still was within him. And he does it, I mean, as a, how, how do you, like Yah would explain to me that, you know, talking to God was like a comfort to him, like, you know, it's me, however, it, it's, it's like a security blanket when you're talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But all the time it's him. Mm. Understand? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so anyway, as Yahshua, Yah saved, he came to live and show, demonstrate the way, which was the Essene way, the truth and the life. And that would be people's salvation. It was not, they did not in any way believe that he was the final sacrifice for all mankind. That was the, that came out of the Jewish mm. sect of Judaism, the animal love, you know, sacrificing. Yeah. And their dude was Paul, who preached that Jesus warned, Yeshua warned. There would be one that would come after me that would be a devil and teach things I did not teach. So that's where the Catholic Church grew up the foundations were on the, the bloodlust and the sacrifice and all the rest of it because that's what they enjoyed doing. Whereas the Essenes remained pure and they were the ones that were uh, thought to be killed. So now, um, E-R is the law, capital L-A-W. And so it's, he is the law that governs everything that happens within the universe. And if you break his law, then you reap what you sow, right? Mm -hmm. So as Yahshua, what was happening is the souls that were dying were trapped within the realm of earth, if you like, in the atmosphere of realm. They were trapped. There was no way out. That's why the, this is all me speaking here, uh, looking across Lazarus saw Abraham mm -hmm. just on the other side, you know, they were trapped, physically trapped within this realm. So what they say is that the vibrational encounter, God has to come in to this realm, sphere, wheel, if you like, in order, and this is what happened, the crucifixion and then the resurrection opened the portal for the souls to follow him out and be able to return to the realm of, of the heavenly realm, if you like, get out of hell. Mm. And that, that was his vibrational frequency. That's what the resurrection was all about. That in the days between the resurrection, because it talks about descending to hell and literally pe preaching to the occupants of hell, and they that follow him, well, he's made the door. He's the door. He opened the door back to God, if you like, for those trapped souls. To follow him. So we are like playing it out on a physical, temporal, catching up with what was accomplished at the cross. And that did happen. That, that was, you know, and that's why since then people, if you're a Christian, loving Jesus, because it all begins with that, you must believe what he has done for him. And if you can't, and it's like when he's asking you to believe, like, uh, if you don't believe, and at that time he was saying, if you don't 
believe what I speak than look at the work that I do and the work for healing the sick and the blind, raising the dead, all of those things. <coughs> so if you can't, in other words, he was saying if you do not have the discernment to hear and understand the truth that I'm telling you, like you're not conscious enough to know that I'm speaking the truth, then look at the works itself. Like there were two ways to, um, to, to come to belief, right? Um, and that was the way out. That's why Christians, when they die, most of them, you know, they have a near-death experience. They come back and they can describe heaven's place of peace and love and surrounded by light. Whereas others, who have rejected the name, who who have rejected the name, they don't experience that. They're either in fear or terror, or they go to they experience hell in this worst place because like that Jewish guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That. And that's why. Should and I that's that again. Mm. That's why uh, it, it, he, he said all those who believe on my name. So you've got believers all down through the centuries who believed the truth, but it was also the way of living his example, which was um, you know doing what is right and righteous and seeking out the truth, seeking the truth in all things. As he said, you have to be a seeker of the truth. But what has overtaken and consumed and devoured the world is Paul, the devil. Mm. So it's still okay to slaughter, so you slaughter, they sacrifice, everything that's been going on. And then the Christians sitting in their churches, oh, I'm saved because Jesus did it all for me. No, it was all about saving yourself. He came to show the way, the truth, and, and he was the door to the Father. So now he's back on the earth, Yahshua, Neshi, Ark, the Messiah, the Christ, which is the anointed one. Here, grown up, this time as the father, of course, he was the door to the father. <laughs> and of course, the father is horrified. Mm. Absolutely horrified. And um, it has to be, mm. I haven't got that part yet, and I don't know that the end of time, the end of the world, is the end of that reincarnation, because you know, the Essenes know all about reincarnation, the reincarnation of the soul. Mm. So he's back here now, grown up into, you know, he's still looking for <laughs> Iya, you out there, <laughs> the voice that has been speaking, his own voice, that comes from above that has been guiding him. Now, of course, we've already done the numbers. That that at <coughs> is it at the is it at twenty first of December? The numbers for you put with Gabriel. So it's like this it has to be this merging. I, I was saying well, before. When Gabriel's question was a baby. No, no, no. Now this time at the end Gabriel. of it all, it's Gabriel. Okay, so Gabriel is your higher self, like archetype. Mm. Okay, until <laughs> text. So. We were talking about things. I'll try to explain this this morning. Like this division, where the spiritual, where the material that has reached its perfection, and we're talking about the soul on the earth, um, because we're still continuing to travel northward, higher and higher and higher mm. towards okay. our that meets like the spiritual soul or self. Mm that will take up residence in the temporal body and and have immortality. Where is now it does talk about the destruction of the earth by fire. That is in the revelation. Like God's promise to Noah was that he would, wouldn't destroy the earth by flood. However, there is a very descriptive part of the earth being destroyed by well, how or why has it got to that? Well we know why. Mm. The law God's law, what he came to fulfill and to show everybody, was to harm nothing. So man choosing evil has reaped what he has sown. So our question has been like, literally like, how does this happen? Is it the gathering of the wheat in the tears? It talks about the tears are bundled up and they are burned, whereas the wheat is gathered into the storehouse. So it is like, is it like a an atom splitting in that moment of time where, where the, the 
these souls that don't make it, and there's going to be a lot of them, remain on the earth and not go to because they've done it themselves. They have to be extinguished. They, mm. they, you know, I've talked about them dropping, I could just drop back the other side, south side, and no, I've got to get rid of them once and for all. Don't give them another opportunity because they've blown it. Mm. So, how does it play out? <laughs> Anything to add? Yeah. Well, I, I'm uh, <coughs> the uh, moving of uh, amounts of huge amounts of goods into Pakistan with uh, Yahweh on the boat. Mm -hmm. You put Yahweh. Don't mean nothing. The Jews went far on that. So any ship carrying that sign. Mm -hmm. Israelites attack, destroy them. The angels will destroy them. Hmm. And the angels can't be Iranians, you know. Hmm. They can't be US maybe, you know. Hmm. Can't be the Turks. They can be the Palestinians. Can be the Palestinians. They the world subject to it, no? Hmm. But they're for them. Hmm. Well, they don't have the resources. They don't have the heart, are they? No. Mm, that's right. No, they're the meek. Mm. They, they, they ask God. Continue for forgiveness for themselves. Mm. God forgive us. I think they're being punished. Yeah, that's mm. right. That's what they've been taught through the Quran. Mm. So <coughs> there you go. <coughs> Anything more? Well, also too. No. Oh, just reading, you know, they make a comment about if if the Christ was back at this time wearing his white robes and all the rest of it and preaching, the Essene doctrine, which is this, that and the other, like the the Essene church has gone underground over years because they were persecuted, of course. Um, so they're back now and they're functioning. Um, and it says, you know, if Jesus, if the Christ were back now and he showed up, well, I'm thinking... Hang that, you know, they talked about the rejection of the Christian churches, they, they were critical. He's not back wearing a white robe and looking like he doesn't fit. That depends on self, though, not it? <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying fronting up looking just like them, nothing, nothing, um, nothing extraordinary, but fronting up just like them, which is the way you've chosen to come this time anyway, you would be rejected. That dude in Siberia is doing the flowing white robe, right. beardy, long hair thing. Well, there you go. Well, see, that's the whole point. It's, it, you know, everybody's expecting him back the same way. Mm. So, therefore, they limit. And their expectation um, is really like an arrogance. Well, it has to be this way because this is what he said first time. Well, this is the second time. And it's always a test. Always a test, isn't it? Mm. On the inhabitants of Earth. So, now you've got these communities like if he fronted up now, the way he is, they would reject him. Hmm. It's a bit like uh, Hitler sending a uh, spy into Germany, into England, hmm. wearing a swastika. Hmm. So probably would stand out. Hmm. <laughs> That's the idea. Hmm. You've got to get nervous. But they answered my question, so... Probably what they Well, that could Maybe. Were it? Well, I'm only the other half. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I'm the other bit. <laughs> I can only be your support. Whatever you decide is just. I'll be right there to... Well, didn't I give judgment to you? <clears throat> yeah, but I gave it back, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Can't pass that face. <laughs> well, you can't have people like that. Yeah. See, the thought process is like light going out from or television going out from a radio station. Has that space to stick down? Nothing stops it. So it's going to hit any civilized planets that we intend to inhabit. 
in the future, <laughs> they will be able to see what happened to the Earth in a mini documentary of when they first invented film right through to the live bullshit that's going on right now. Mm. And then also our YouTubes and they'll be able to see all that. Because that's all going out there. Yeah. Honey. Like they refer to mm. you've got the divine father and mm. the divine mother. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> and then in the realm of the universe as <coughs> yeah, sure. You are also Adam Cadmon, which is like Adam Cadmon, <coughs> to do with your manifestation as man, son of man. And <coughs> his other half, well, half was the Shekinah glory, or the wisdom, the Sophia, the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you say. To me, your experience of uh, the pink filling your room that night, mm. how you wish, well, if I'm the Holy Spirit manifest, <coughs> why would you get the pink? Well, that's right. That looked very much like that M42 in Dolph Run. Yeah. So I do like pink. I'm riding around the park. I've got pink glasses, pretty and pink. <laughs> Now, what did that dude say to me as I'm after the angel, the meeting with the angel, and then I made sure I followed his instructions, <coughs> and I went and met this dude who was running the um, house in Victoria for homeless people, Reverend, whatever, who had eyes uh, just like Al the angel. <laughs> well, I just walked in, and he just looked up at me, and he said, you are filled with Holy Spirit. No. Okay. <laughs> so, you can't be expecting pink to front up because pink is here. <laughs> However, <coughs> very interesting. That was, of course, the same moment just before that, the Bible chain. We have a red writing in this, I think it was in John, looking back and forth. Mm. And I found it in the middle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so at that time I hadn't read the Bible. I just started on I skimmed it. Load of crap, load of crap, all right, that's one load of crap. Go through anything at all and one load of rubbish. But I had a familiarisation but at least I knew how it was. Yeah. And, and of course the it thing comes to <laughs> <Stop! laughs> Well, it's a, it's what Yahshua taught to discern the difference between the scriptures that are already being altered by that time and what would come after and uh, anything that calls for the killing of anything ain't God. Hmm. One of the most altered scriptures is Ezekiel. I just first everything. Let me read it just because. Because Ezekiel is 3, 1, 6, 8. Isn't it? So, how many chapters? 38 chapters on Ezekiel. Well, that's Lord Jesus Christ, 3,800, well, 38 times, plus twice in the, uh, I think it's Ezekiel 24, 24, Ezekiel 1, 2. The word Ezekiel is found in the 38 chapters. So every one, 38, one of 24 chapters, that's so Ezekiel, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, look, how many times it's found in the whole thing, you know. So they, they really went to town on that and, and changed it big time. That's the wheels within wheels, it's actually the Essene thing, if you just look at it from the Essene point of view, you could translate it. So there you go. Alright, so we send in a flotilla of uh, aid to Palestine. And um, if the Jews try to stop it, destroy them. So, but Yahweh written on the side of every boat. Or flags or whatever. It's an international passport. Mm. It's a holy writ. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see their reaction to that. Mm. Mm. So, so, if you don't judge me by the proof I bring, at least judge me by my works. Mm. Like. Right. Mm. Alrighty then. 
Any last word before I touch, touch the thing up? You've got to put your lippy on. <laughs> that, um, is that why you're sitting there covering it? No, 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 I wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> why did you have to remind me? <laughs> 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 yep. uh, yeah. Did you get for a bike ride in a minute?